Hey everyone, Deadbond here. Welcome back to Hardcore Tarkov, episode 30. We're going to hop on the woods with this little pistol kit uh, we put together real quick. Kind of zero to hero and just see what we can do. See y'all in raid. All right, we're in. Well, we got this spawn again. Um, all right. Which did, oh, I meant to trade for a pack of armor. Whoops. Um, hmm. This is a tough one. Baby cabbages. Much tastier than baby cabbages. We're talking about Brussels sprouts. I absolutely love them. If you've never had roasted Brussels sprouts with salt and olive oil, hmm. I tell you what, it's wonderful. Should not still be shooting at me. God, I hate that weapon so much. Oh my guy catches breath, I guess. I know it's good. I know it shoots the good bullets, but boy, oh boy, do I not like it. <laughs> boy, oh boy, do I not like it. There goes the AP. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, MP7 pistol? Anybody? It's one of my favorite... Hello? One of my favorite things to do in this game. I'm actually going to close that. It's one of the giveaways that somebody's been here. Um, yeah, MP7 pistol is one of my favorite things to do in this game. It's so, so fun, I think is the proper word. Diary's, diary's good. We're starting to save those. They do all right. We are going to need three more folders of intel for intel level two. We're really far away from that, but yeah, they do technically trade for that. I also have a... I remade my shopping list in between episodes here, YouTube. Just to try to get more things going. I, I would love to get what we need going for... Um, really quiet raid, by the way. I would love to get what we need going for the weapon rack, because once Illumination is installed, we could certainly do that. Only a 20 rounder. Okay, there we go. I don't know if they change that so Mark Circle doesn't have too much, but. You have to see something on that Mark Circle. Could also be somebody, you know, ran by it. I do want to go check Suppressor House here. Um, oh, there's a player or a scav. I don't They've been making these scavs really look like players lately. So I don't know. Yeah, it was, I mean, it's never been great, but it usually has a few pieces of, of junk in it, you know? Has been a flash drive. Yeah, that sounds about right. That sounds about right. Okay, this feels looted. Feels looted. That's okay, though. The question is, did they know about these piles? Uh, it would appear not.
It would appear not. This has been historically some of the best ammo drops in the game, is that little spot there. Okay, I think we're going to head to the camps after this. I know we may have to fight, but... That's alright. I am willing to do so, I think. Now that we have some stuff. I need to check all those ammo pieces as well. out of breath. You haven't even been running that long. Did I loot this? I did. Okay. Oh, that's those BS rounds. Whoa. Did not mean to discard those. That's what I think it is. Oh, different APs. Gotcha. Okay, that's fine, though. I was hoping for... Did I loot this guy's backpack, or they, 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 didn't, they didn't have one, right? I don't think they had one. They have the decent rig. And I do enough. Uh, boom, I'm not sure what uh, number that is in, in binary. It's what, 2 plus 8. Boom, 11, maybe. That sounds like it's at one of the camps, so we can interrupt that. Because this thing does have... This pens well. Is it 10? I messed that up. Right, 2 plus 8. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Duh. Forgive me, it's been, it's been several years. I'm not going to pretend that it was actually more than a decade ago, but uh, we're not going to talk about that. So that could be at the radio tower as well, but I don't have contacts on, so it's like hard to tell sometimes. I need to eat here. That's EWR. It's not this closest camp that I'm aware of. I think it is the radio tower, because it sounds like somebody's fighting scavs. I think the question then is, are they going to come here, or did they already loot here? I think that SVD low can go on this thing, can it? Sure can. Also, that's pretty sick. I don't know if it's any good. Hundred rounds A two. It's terrible, but like, I mean, bullets are bullets. Uh, that does make that pretty hard to see.
I mean, those were indoor shots we heard, so they're in the bunker over there. No idea if they're heading this way or not. Chainlet and nothing. I think I sold that suppressor and or didn't make it out with that. Armor? Deal. Oh. Right, well. All right, what do we genuinely not need here? Probably that. Probably seven of that. me and there's a very real and reasonable chance that this has already been looted oh yeah that, those are pretty good stats for the uh the TCW. You have to double shot, but, like, that's still pretty good. Yes. There's a horse. Definitely need that. That's a good one. Block 45 mag. Um, I genuinely don't know. Probably that. We've got enough PST at the moment. Look at this, right? Guess I skipped this tech supply. Which was part of the reason we're here. Right, not perfect on level four, but like has a shot, which is all you can really kinda ask for. sells really well i don't i don't even know which one's worth more i want to say it's this one this one's gray so that's why i'm keeping it <laughs> that's really the the extent of that do you prefer budget round yeah no it's a good budget round Nice. Just make sure we're not fighting for, like, a Lenex or something here. We are fighting for a Lenex here? Okay, fair enough. Alright, you're gone. And by fighting, I mean running away. No, those shots were not at me. Funny enough, I think this BP is actually better than this thing right now. Nah, Lennoxes aren't all with... Oh, they already looted here. Okay, that's actually good for us. That's actually really good for us. Or somebody already looted here. They completely missed a Lennox, by the way. That's kind of funny. I mean, not a lot of people know that they can spawn there. <laughs> so, a thousand percent legit player, yeah. I, here's the thing. I'm East Coast NA, and that is like... 
I'm not saying we don't have cheaters. We do. But it's certainly much rarer than most of the rest of the world. Oh, yeah, no kidding, boom. Yeah, I've actually found most of my hardcore... We're playing hardcore right now, so most of my hardcore Lenexes have actually come from those two spots right there. It could be on the stretcher or below. Um, I actually have one in my stash safely, so I'm, like, somewhat not panicking about this one. Now, technically, I need two. One for the hideout, one for um, the task. But... Um... Having one for either or, in particular the task, is is epic. For sure, Nako, for sure. I mean, here's the other thing. is like, when you wear good contacts and you know this game, I know half of you are like, how did they know I was there? I know half of you are like stomping around like this. And you're like, how did that guy hear me from two feet away? It's like, well, you know, you were kind of sprinting. And it's really easy to track players. And when you know the map extremely well and somebody's running, I basically have ESP on, right? Uh, Exclamation Hardcore is our hardcore rule set. We have a little bit of a different rule set than Pestily because this is my main account. I don't play any other Tarkov during a wipe or during the wipe. This is the only Tarkov I, get, I play. I don't say get to play, the only Tarkov I do play. Um, and it all goes up on the YouTube, so that first rules video kicks off the playlist, but in that description of that rules video, there's a there's a um, there's an image if you wanted to look at that instead. Well, they're both 101 to dealers? Fair. This is a gun. I feel like I found that there a lot. Oh, I can't take that off, though. That's such a bummer. All right, can I put this on there? I can. All right. You're gone, then. Goodbye. I hate... I hate the... The Vepper Hunter and the... Um... Oh, yeah, I need to eat that. The Vepper Hunter and the SKS are my two least favorite weapons in the entire game. I can, but that... Eh. I'm keeping the MP7, so I guess I would make money off of the, uh, I could make a little money off of the selling the Vepper Hunter, but yeah, yeah, I would say, I would say this way for sure. Like, I've reported the name and, like, was, like, pretty confident. I think I've only had one. Just based on the name, the timing, the all that stuff. Everything else has been either, okay, maybe they had ESP, but maybe they just heard me. Because I, I tend to stomp around like you guys, you know? Or, they you know, they heard me well before that. Because it's such a hard thing when you're playing hardcore. Like, I don't have contacts on half the time. So sometimes I feel like I'm being quieter than I am because my contacts aren't letting me hear my footsteps as they are, you know? So, yeah. But the other thing is, like, real, like, legit cheaters who are looking for money and looking to scoop up the raid money-wise, they're never going to interact with me because I have, I, I go into raid with nothing because I'm playing hardcore, you know? So, just they just kind of ignore me. Yeah, we had that one guy who was zorping a little bit and was a little sus. I, I forgot about that guy, so maybe two, FJ. Yeah, I did forget about the one guy who was, like, zorping. Um, but that said, the servers today have been a little bit iffy compared to the start of the wipe. So, I don't know. You know, that could just be server stuff. That guy's orping. Because scabs have been orping. So. Never going to 100% know, is basically what I'm saying. Ooh. 
little keck tape there. Oh, we have room. Nice. Some of the cash in it. It's... I love a bigger bag. We do need one strike cigarette. That would be good. All right. I definitely need that NACL as well. What are we ditching here? And I would like those cigarettes. Or the matches. They're one third of a contact, but I think we're actually fairly backed up enough on those. I actually really like this area to loot in. I love a red screwdriver. And I really should get out with this lead egg, so I'm, only, I'm not going to check the main one. Yes, horses. We're, oh, we're playing, we're playing hardcore, so I need... Oh, there's a wreck bat. Let's go. Um, I, I can't buy from the flea market. So that's part of my... Uh, Doc's case barter. Know that there was one of these out here. I do need the wrench. Need that wrench. Shoot, man. I guess this is just money, which we're not really needing right now. It's a little bit late on my flashlight there in case there was somebody in there. Whoopsies. Oh, there's some hydration on the floor there, too. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, it's it's an interesting it, getting everything you need in raid is very fun. I don't know if that's actually going to help us or not. I don't think it is. But yeah, it's it's a super fun way, fun way to play. It, it makes it more like a survival game. You can call me greedy. It's fine. If I die here, I expect all the YouTube comments to be greed. Okay. Yeah, greed fine. See, I'm, I'm very willing to admit when I'm being greedy and when I'm not. You know? Which is why I got so heated about that last time. <laughs> Chat was telling me I was being super greedy when I wasn't. Dang. All right, you know what? Worth. Uh, it is, but I. This is this is where I tend to find the most player scabs. Not greed, optimizing raid time. Yeah, that's really important as well. We have a couple of these already, but this is super important for hardcore. And again, we don't really need money. Yeah. Early in the raid, I would agree with you as well. There's a hand drill there, by the way. I just saw that. Um, but we don't need that. We do need that, but, like, we, the ceiling foams are going to be harder to get than that thing. No. Ooh, I feel like I'm going to need that. Ash 12. There's a Bramit there. That's really good. We're really filled up with some good stuff. Damn. I'm taking way too long to decide this. The diary. Nah, you know what? I think I'm just gonna say no to that. Sledgehammer there. Okay, the elites have the shotgun trade for the lasers and such, and the grip. Oh, yeah, no, if it wasn't for the Lenex, I would not call this greed either as well. But again, and I would not be doing this if I already had a Lenex. That's the other, that's the other key factor. Okay. 
he started shooting first. It's player scav because we got the... Uh, the ding there. What for my legs? I guess. Yeah, he is decently looted, so we're gonna have to, like, pop one of these. I'm kind of curious. Oh, you can't chamber load this one. Oh, you can't chamber load this one. That stinks. All right, we got to do this. That player scab would have been happy, huh? Oh, are we in? No. Can I? All right, we can get to the looting without that. That's good. I see, like, they heard me coming up because of their contacts, you know? They killed a player. Good for you. Or or looted a player body, I guess. That's for a gunsmith later. Then the challenge is now. I don't need that either. Fitting all of these contents into here. Uh, I'm just going to eat that. Wish I could do that in raid, you know? Uh, we're probably good on that for that. These are super easy to find, I think, anyway. All right. Yeah, it's probably these. I don't know what this does. BP-102 mount? So I think I'd rather have that. All right. We're out. Well, let's loot this first. That was very close, yeah. Right. Nothing of value there. GG's? Yeah, it's for the, the VPO that I dropped earlier. I think you're right. I guess that throwing there. That was very close. That was very, very close. But I will absolutely take that. Uh, yeah. I think I got him on the last bullet, too. <laughs> it's always the last bullet, man. Wow. Whoo! Second Lennox. Second Lennox. So the next one we get, we could just straight up sell, by the way. <laughs> Which is awesome. And then what else did we also get out of that? Um, I really didn't get anything I was looking for specifically, but... Oh, we got a wrench. We got a wrench for another tool set.
protect my ears like I needed to, you know? Uh, okay. I think I'm selling this ULAC, too. I know it protects my ears, but, um... Right now, I think I'd rather have the money. And it's tan, and I don't like that. Do you buy that? No. Do the skier buy that? Sure does. All right, then we'll go to you for tasks. So this one is good. But that gives us, um... Ah, uh, yeah, three scabs on woods without using meds. And then tremor headshots as well. So if we get the, um... If we get a broken limb, broken arm, that'll be good. Because that unlocks office kills, which is... I would love to do office kills and close quarters kills at the same time. I think that's exactly how I want to play that. Okay, that's going away. I do want to keep the 45 rounder, though. That's always fun. And then I think I do keep this, because it, it, it folds up pretty small. Honestly. And, like, even this one I should be... Because I have the um, mag boxes now, this is actually worth our time to do, because... It, uh, it it actually saves us from because the mag the mag is in a spot that the other things can't go, which is nice. Okay, RD this RD is actually really good. We just don't have a lot of bullets for it. Okay, you can do the office kills with an axe. I mean, I could try. We've killed... We technically have an office kill with an axe. We, the the quest just was not active. I'm just saying that the, the hatchet kill that we got on that player was technically an office kill. I'm just, I'm just throwing that one out there. Throwing that one out there. All right. So, I would like to do this, this... that do i have i don't know if i have any more mags for this it's unfortunate um which is why we're gonna bring the pistol though and honestly i think i'm gonna use rip because why not um we'll keep that there that's still good these are still good gets us out of most scenarios i don't think with this we need the axe I do kind of want the rangefinder. Hey, great Dean. Happy Thursdays. Having a really good, we're having a really good time here. I must say. Actually, though, we're going to go PB because then we'll be uh, completely suppressed. We just got a bunch of PBM, which is really nice. Okay, sick. PBM, and then we'll top that up. We won't top that up. We'll, we'll just use that PBM, wherever that was. Maybe not that much. A couple extra bullets there will be good. Um, all right. I think I'm pretty happy with this. This this kind of covers the uh, most of the Dr. Disrespect armor, which is good. I got to fill this up and put it away. I guess I'll just put it away here. I, th I think we're pretty happy. I got to heal up. Oh, defective walls are also ready for installation here. We got a lot of stuff to, to install here. Oh yeah, if you guys haven't seen the uh, <laughs> the hatchet, the ha the player hatchet kill, yeah, it's a good one. Okay, workbench ready to go, which unlocks quite a few things. I'm hoping it unlocks. Yeah, I think this is PS and PP rounds, or PS into PP rounds. That this is exactly what we want to let sit overnight. Oh, that's kind of cool. We can make 74 M's over and over again. Love that. Absolutely love that. I don't know what kind of shotgun round that is. Maybe there's no piranha rounds. That's a good one. This is the this is the craft I'm talking about. So manual tool toolkit. We can buy these. So we just need plex, and we can make these lenses, which is awesome. Um, so the we can make make green batteries. So we got to start saving wreck batteries and power banks. Um, tank battery, of course, equals that which is nice so then we get this craft as well I get, we really got to find another red screwdriver like really badly um because then we can convert uh, drills into motors oh power bank turns into two wreck batteries okay so one power bank or or wreck batteries is what we need here so we really just need to loot filing cabinets 
So we got to make sure we're ready to... Um... I got to dismantle the floor. Or I got to mop the floor again. That's funny. But yeah, we got, a, we got a lot of good things going for us there. Oh, yeah. This is upgraded now. So we can actually start crafting piles of meds, which is nice. So we want to get this going. And then we can convert bandages into piles of meds. And it's a pretty good cycle to go back and forth on. Love it. This is also a really good craft as well. IFAX, they're fairly cheap. So we're definitely cruising here on all of these things. I think I just need to make more hoses. Oh, we have that Tarzan. Oh, beautiful. Let's let's do that. 100% Black, Black, Black Rock Rig. One, one will give us some extra space in our stash. Two, we're going to need it for a task later. Love it. I'm really happy with where we're at. We are we are just getting things done. Okay, cool. I am gonna go hop back right onto woods and uh oh I gotta heal all here somehow. How are we doing that? How are we doing that? I'm going to heal myself up, and I'll see you on Woods uh, YouTube. All right, we're in. Man, I've been getting this spawn a lot, huh? So remember, my task is technically to kill sca three scavs without metting. But not worrying about that. If we have to med, we have to med. It doesn't have to be with volt action. You can do this with anything. So anything with a scope is what I would recommend for this. I'm out of. I'm out. I'm out. So much for not metting. <laughs> so much for not metting. I heard bushes, I thought. I love the PB for how quiet it is, but boy, is it. It's like inaccurate plus hard to use the iron sights on. No need to search any longer. You found the right pine. There used to be a ton of great spawns on that floor, but they just, I haven't seen them in a while. You're calling Violet Keycard? Maybe. We have found Violet. We found a uh, Nako, you missed it last wipe because you weren't really here. We did find a Violet Keycard last wipe. Which is why I added the rule of if I can't sell it to any dealer, I'm allowed to sell it on the flea market. Because all the dealers stop buying the, the, the key cards. Funny enough, I need bolts, not nuts. Which is usually the other way around.
probably gonna die from this. This was really good. Okay, so somebody was firing around Suppressor House, so we're not even gonna bother. Um, we already failed our task, so I, I'd rather loot. And I think looting involves going to the USEC camps because of the technical supply crates and just hoping nobody's there. Looting. Yeah, I used to find a bunch of stuff, good stuff on the floor. Night vision, suppressors, bullets, weapon parts. That's center. I need to get this, this bag searched up so I can... That. I'm pretty sure it's slugs in that, so it's, like, not a priority priority. Because I think I'd be dead if it was buckshot. <laughs> but based on my times that scav missed. So they changed Shooterboard in Heaven, by the way. Um, I, I think I've mentioned this a few times, but for those who didn't, weren't aware, Shooterboard in Heaven is now... Five PMC headshot kills with a bolt action, any range, on all the maps. So, I actually love this change. I think it's amazing. You don't have to worry about distance. You can just focus on taking out your targets. I think it's hard for some people, but certainly a ton easier than the 100 meters. Because a lot of the time you get like an 80 meter kill and you're like, wow, that felt really far. Oh, hello. That felt really far. You know? Damn. I had one shot there and I missed it. They probably know where I am. Suppressor should do a lot of work there. I guess the other question is, is do they want to fight or did they run away? Oh. No way that missed. I mean, he knows I'm over here now. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> okay. Well, suppressors for the win, huh? Sorry, bud. I was not where you thought I was. He was healing, so I think I hit him in the chest. That might have been a shooter born heaven kill, too. I don't know. I'm so sorry. I'm that sorry. Oh, God. What tree was it? It's a thicker tree. Oh, there. Oh, yeah, 100% may have friends. I don't think so. But certainly possible. Bro, that guy had Magnum Buckshot. Holy crap. Also, for some reason, I thought I was blacked out. It was just broken. That's a whoops on my part. I uh, will happily take this. I know that one protects the thorax. But... Alpha armband, dang. I can see why they're using the PP-19.
It is unfortunate we don't have a big bag. We are leaving some stuff on the table here. Now, I don't think these guys looted proper proper. I don't think that was his friend, by the way. They would have known I was up. Oh. Oh. Clever. All right. Now we don't have to loot either. Oh no, I didn't have a blacked out limb. I keep thinking I have a blacked out limb. Again, Comtax are like ESP. I'm just, I'm just saying. I think for sake of saving time, I'm gonna do this. Can I not take this now? Oh, cause it's an illegal. No, okay. I was gonna say, what the heck? a square to okay. what I really need is that out this out ditch that put that there that's German I guess it's German Appreciate that. That is a lot of mags. <laughs> Are these all PBM? No. Okay. PBM is really good, by the way. Okay, that's a player based on how they're moving. There's so much PBM. Uh, I mean, I'm not complaining. There's so much PBM. Ditch that that stack if we need to. I mean, I probably should have taken that to be honest with all that PBM in there, but all right. Well, whoa, sorping. Don't love that. We're a little heavy now.
definitely heading over to extract here. Whose bag was this then? I just realized that this PP... Maybe he was trying to get a different angle on me. I just realized that. We don't need money right now. Let's get topped up, though. Definitely time to reset. I think we're going to go the same kind of route we did last time, though. I think I'm going to eat all of this as well. And then put that there. So we have... Uh... Room to put stuff away in. I don't want to be near the camp. So I, 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 there could very easily be another Lenex that somebody missed there. But this mechanism bag makes me think that guy, that guy knew how to loot. So I think we're going to go the same route we did last time to get out. I keep forgetting to bring in money for the car extract, too. I thought one of these had a flashlight on it. Yeah, I think we're at the stage. Never mind. I was going to say we're at the stage of the raid where I just need to avoid player scavs. Never mind. The backpack exception is real. Mechanism bags are amazing. They're, they're my go to looting bag. In normal dark up. Oh, but I need specifically headshot kills with tremor slash pain effect. But I'm I'm only I'm not gonna save a broken arm just just for that. They're hard to stash. Once you can buy them though, it's fine. I mean, that's why they're so good is because because you can't stack them people tend not to take them and you always get them back in insurance so but i think i think you know that gold star bombs are nice because um Funny enough, I actually saw those in markets in Vietnam. I should have bought one, but they didn't have um, they didn't have the big ones. They only have the small ones. Indoor shots, huh? Uh, but they craft propotol, which is huge. Having propotol is just—I can't tell you how good it is to always have propotol on you. It just—it cleans up everything. why you always run rig plus armor instead of armored rig because they have to choose yeah yep i also just like how they can repair it's also easier to swap when you don't have an armor rig that said there's some good armor rigs out there don't get me wrong but like being able just to ditch off your armor and put on a fresh one or you know insurance guard your armor without having to take all your mags out it's really nice I mean, I'll also, like, I just like the... This new level 3 that I'm wearing right now is... is, is I, I enjoyed this one, but... Um, the... The, gr the green level 3 with the neck collar protection. I really like that one the, for the propane trade. That's one of my go-tos. Um, in particular, when I can just buy it. And then the, the level 4... Or level 5 black version of that. I forget what it's called. 
Um, it only has like, was it 50 or 60 durability? So it really doesn't last through like more than one or two encounters, but that's all I really ever need. I, I'm not trying to fight the map, right? I never, I never try to fight the map in my normal play. So I just needed to get me through the first encounter so I can ditch it and then, um, ditch it and get some back. We have Med Station 2. I don't know if we can crap up all yet, but I, I like saving the gold stars for that. Good morning, Samlik. Hope you're doing well. How you doing, uh, Murty with, uh, Murty Mer with Honey? Hope I'm saying that properly. Welcome to the stream. Hello, hello. It's good to have you. We're having a fine uh, Thursday, or wherever you are in the world. Four for the task. And Bleach is one half of a helmet. Yeah, no, I... So you know what the funny thing about that is? That, to me, is more valuable than the Ledex we had last time, I think. I'm not going to stop off in here and not check, because this one's relatively safe compared to the other one. But we are going to make our way out here. That sounded suspiciously close to my to right. That could be somebody clearing out ZB-16. I mean, my bag is also filled, filled. So. Oh, I already had one. I genuinely... Well, I don't have a Lytics on me now. Oh, I think that screwdriver actually put me overweight here. That's kind of unfortunate. I'm going to be thanking myself later when I have them. I've also sold a ton of ophthalmoscopes already. I should just save the one now. So that we have our uh, money kind of squared away here. Gun of some point, some sort. Oh. Chlorine's actually huge. I think this is just money for us. The nippers are fine. Yeah, I don't care about that. All right, cool. Yeah, chlorine's actually massive. Um, good raid. Good raid. Good raid. Another would survive, two of fifteen. Was that three player kills? One of them was a headshot with this. So that's one shooter board in heaven kill. Nice. GG's. Massive, massive raid. Okay. Uh, let's check that shooter board in heaven kill. Let's just make sure it's working. I, you know, I just. Want to show it off as well. There it is. Boom. One out of five. Finding the backpack was funny, yeah. So I guess they did kind of know roughly where I was then. Or, or like they were trying to get an angle on me then. That's the only thing I can think of that would do that. Just going to do that, that, put this here, then equip that. Perfect. And then once this is clear, we'll do that. There's so much bag exception going on. This is massive because that lets us craft more weapons parts. That lets us craft just so many things. Hose is always good. Um, this is actually pretty good as well. It suppresses this, which is very powerful. We'll put that on there for now. 
at Crest Elevator. We have so much PBM at the moment, it's kind of ridiculous, actually. Um, yeah, no, it's actually, like, like insanely good. Four nine nine five, which is okay. It, it falls off in damage, unfortunately. So yeah, you have to like double. You have to double headshot people to get an actual kill with them. But it does go through every helmet. So yeah. Okay, we'll put that there. This is a really good one as well. Just gonna slowly but surely kit up these things. Yep, that's a good one. Helix for the hideout. I kind of want to start saving these for these barter, these barter, but like we're we're nowhere close to that on Ragman, and I do kind of need money. Like I do need money still. This is gonna be a tough one to put away. This definitely needs to get sold. Lots of Salewas. I'll take that. up this needs to get sold This fits in there. For that, we're gonna save those for to go together, I guess. Try to put barter trades in here. Things we need to save for later in here. Weapon parts. That's the problem with the uh, like stacking them up like that is they kind of get lost sometimes. But until we have the room, you know. Just have to go through those every once in a while to, to remind myself what we have here. I mean, this is the Tetris. This is the Tetris life of Hardcore Tarkov, right? This is how it goes. That feels pretty good. Put that on there for now. I'm going to try to make room for that here. Need to keep the meds out, though. All right, so, YouTube, you kind of get the idea here. I want to get another raid in here for sure. So, I'm going to keep organizing here. Um, try to get some stuff buried in these in these two. Uh, in fact, I might even save this later for the uh, the, the Punisher Part 3. We'll see. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get the stash organized here. Um, I mean, we're kind of crushing it on Woods. But I do need other stuff. Like we, you know, we do need other stuff. I mean, we're giving ourselves a decent shot at these these, these things. 
Well, we might we might hit up like a reserve raid or something like that. Like stack our bags away and then do a reserve raid. Doesn't sound like a terrible idea. I was thinking of doing with this mechanism bag, doing like a nighttime interchange run where we can go just look for motors. That's all we do. Um, that may not be a bad idea either. But yeah, I'm gonna get gonna finish getting this organized up so I can hit this with an auto sort and then uh, we'll go from there. So I will uh, we'll see you for the whatever raid we choose. All right, here we go. So did nighttime here. Um, put a flashlight on our little uh, PP guy. I see the sign for. Uh, it's that way. Oh, I'm right next to the camp. This spawn confused me. I didn't realize you could spawn right next to the camp. Uh oh, somebody, somebody else did not realize. Came here because your sky vaults just followed to learn Tarkov. Thanks for sharing your games. Oh, Forest, that's amazing. I'm so happy. Heck yeah. Yeah, Tarkov's a lot of fun. It's honestly, it's got some similarities to. It's got a lot of similarities to. Um... Wow, that's a really good find. Two ball hunters, you know? You go into a raid, you do X thing, complete objectives, and then get the heck out. Or. Well, yeah, you always have to get out in a, from an exit in this, but still pretty cool. I don't know if an extra one of those is actually viable. Yeah, I don't think I don't think the the guy doing the mine survived. Unless we hear more after, they could be doing like leveling up their vitality. But I'm okay with one less player in the raid. You know. Great AKM. I'll take that. This rig is extremely good for looting and taking the backpackless extracts. It's also just an amazing rig to hold stuff in. So. Got that going for it. We'll need some amount of those. Creepers are more dangerous than Tarkov. A little bit. Why do I feel like that was meant to be on a tip, AK? I could be wrong. Oh, sick, actually. That's a morphine. Need those. I don't know how much I need that. Wrong cigarettes. I'll bring those two for as long as it's like not in the way. All the PBM, dude. All right, this camp has been looted. Uh, that's not true. There's some. There's actually a lot, ton of good ammo up top. As well as an M4 spawn. for here. <clears throat> so we're going to eventually go for here. Oh, don't go all the way off, dude. Wow. So this is bug in Tarkov where when you jump upstairs, it like floats you. 
and that just floated me right off the edge. Yeah. It's kind of annoying, to be honest. Yes, please. I just, I can't deny 50 rounds, you know? Like, it's 59 mil. It's not good. To me, this is like equivalent of Green Tracer. God, that, that's never going to get... That's I'm never going to get used to that. It really is like somebody turns off the lights. So that's it. Switching from a... Being going to nighttime to it being dawn. You, yeah, you definitely just subbed up Tarkov. It is... I, I will never say this game is for everybody, because it is... Super anxiety-inducing. Um, and that's, that's its entire goal. That's its entire goal. It's to make you feel like you're in a combat zone. Even slightly. You know, obviously not the whole way. Hello, Nyla. You're getting too big for that, you know. Oh, thank you for... Make sure my... Recording didn't stop. She knocked over my Elgato. <laughs> There's no scope. I am going to need one of those as well. Oh, double O scope. Classic. I forgot to reset the scab task. Shoot. That's annoying. I mean, it's fine. It's just like... I would have liked to have gotten that done this, this raid. But we have to survive 15 woods raids, so... But we don't have to. I want to survive 15 woods raids. Fun cod I yeah, wouldn't be able to have anxiety myself. Yeah, that's so, I, like I've had like one of my very good friends loves this game, absolutely loves it, but can't play. It's just it's too much, and that's okay. That's so. There's nothing wrong with that. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. So, I think that is a okay. Phantom, what was that? Yeah, Battle Pro is great. By the way, helmet flashlight. What? Yeah, no worries, Forrest. Like I said, totally understandable. I mean, it also doesn't help I'm doing a nighttime raid right now. Which is worse. Yeah, a lot of people have that sentiment, FJ. Again, Russia 2028, I think, will be... I don't know if it's going to be a looter... Sh it's not going to be a looter shooter. But I do think it's going to be similar to Tarkov. So. We're several years out from that minimum, but... I do think that's going to be a good fit for all those who don't want to play Tarkov for the PvP element. And, um, Forrest, you, please, don't feel any pressure to watch this. If it's not for you, it's not for you. It's all good. We'll be, there's going to be plenty of Sky Vaults content on the channel and on the YouTube. So, I never want anybody to ever feel pressure to stay in the stream um, for what, any reason.
Yeah, they're not going to do a PvE mode in Escape from Tarkov. They're going to have a PvP mode in Arena. Um, and then, like I said, Russia 2028 is going to be their standalone game, like their single-player game. Or single-player or co-op, I think, they were thinking of. Ooh, nice. Totally fair. No, I just wanted to make sure. That, I just wanted to make sure that nobody ever felt pressure on that. That's that's a if you like if you want to watch and learn, awesome. But I don't want to. Um, I don't want to make people feel uncomfortable. You know, I want them to get their most value from their free time. This is a little dark, even for my, my tastes. I really hope we get some NVG soon. I really want to start doing, like, you know, super sneaky uh, nighttime. Actually, you know what the best way to probably get NVGs is? Is to go to Nighttime Factory with a flashlight shotgun and just try to get some kills. That's probably the best way to do it. I, so, it would be less satisfying. <laughs> I try for us. Uh, you know? I don't know. This world's got a lot of messed up stuff in it. Me being selfish about whether somebody's watching me or not when they're uncomfortable is least I could do, I guess. Yeah, so when you fail a task, by the way, YouTube, if you didn't know this, you have to reset it. Or, like, re-enable it. Uh, I think it's supposed to be on that bush right there. Uh, maybe this one? I think it's just not up. And that's fine. Um, I don't think I can go up this way, can I? I can't. Okay. Um, man, it is dark. But, yeah, uh... I I lost my train of thought. Sorry, guys. Oh, uh, with the resetting of tasks. So if you if you die, if you like fail a no meds or that, you have to remember to reset it before you go back into the raid. Which stinks. Here comes the sun. They are they are valuable, the primes. And I appreciate you using it for us. Thank you so much. And genuinely supports all the content here and on YouTube, so much appreciated they are. At the moment I still th I think still worth a tier one sub. There may come a day where they're worth slightly less to me personally. Why can't I jump? Hello? Uh, I'm hitting spacebar. I hate it when it does this. Thank you. Oh, look at that. We're floating again. Um, because I'll have a higher cut of tier one subs. Supposedly. Hope they don't go back on that. Uh, you know. That'll be a major bummer if they do. But if they don't, then I think there was talk of having primes be worth like the just the 250 instead of the 350, but... Either way, it's still epic. It's still awesome for you to share that here. I don't know if we need these right now.
But the cool thing about Prime is it's already bought and paid for, so it is literally free money from Amazon. And I'm... Cheers. So there is a practice mode, Nitsa. You just don't you don't get to keep any of the stuff you get out of the raid, that's all. So like I think a good combination early on is doing offline raids. And I think uh, Amir is doing this uh, in chat here. But I think a good combination is doing offline raids and scav raids because when you're scaving, you're not ris you're risking actual nothing. Um, which is really cool. Another gun, huh? Not quite the one I want. Am I trying to keep that one? Maybe. Goes on a Saiga pretty, pretty evenly. here for the, the toolboxes. You can do an offline raid that is, has nothing. I do need bolts. That only has scavs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but you don't, you don't get to gain anything. Like, if I were in an offline raid now and I, every, I got out of the raid, I would keep only the things I brought in with me. So I could go that way and get the gold spawns there, but I, I think I'm just not. I think I'd rather do the tool spawns. We are going to need gold items at some point, but I'd rather go to the uh, right next to extract there and do all that stuff. I might even, like, if car hasn't been taken, I might actually go for the car as well. Car has been taken, so yeah. So the town's probably looted, so I'm just going to go to that lumber area. Yeah, I think some people were asking for, like, a lock your game into offline mode. So you can never go into an online raid with it. And then just play with that. Uh, which would be cool. Like, I don't know how hard that would be. I know that's not what they want. But if it gets more people to play their game, I don't see what, I don't see what the problem would be with that. Per personally. Personally. Also, the car being taken, so yeah, when you double tap O and the car extract is red, which is the bridge VX, that's the car extract. If that's red, that means it's taken. Um, but that also means there's a, just a better chance that nobody's over here. Looting. So. Oh, I could check ZB16 for motors, huh? That might be worthwhile. <sighs> Am I gaining stamina back by walking now? I oh, am. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go check ZB16 for motors. I don't know what Blizzard did with Diablo 2, but yeah, as long as your account is locked into offline mode, like you choose at the start, lock it into offline mode. You can never play on the server once it's there, unless you reset the account. So you so you don't gain anything from it, right? Or you don't get an unfair advantage. Because it doesn't cost them any... Ser the thing about that to me is it doesn't cost them server space, right? Just save it all locally. You know? Costs almost nothing. Or little to nothing. Maybe they're worried it'll, it'll decrease the player base a little bit more. I don't know. Aha! Motor. Let's go. We can also just take ZB16 out if we get filled up here. Which I might do. going to be using 545 very soon. Wait, 
I would like to keep all this. I've just... And that's 120 BT, by the way. I think I want the kill ad. Oh, that's not there. Alright, I actually want to get out. That's a... Bush. I'm not sure if that's me. I think you can actually trigger the bush of, up above you right there, but um, yeah. Wow, GG. We just came out with 240 really good 545 rounds. That's absurd. That is actively absurd. Alright, that, that motor is really good for us. We also just got, like, look at look how many bullets we have. Sorry, we got 100 and... 50 BP rounds and then 120. Oh my god, that's so many. And then PP, which is like totally fine as well. Holy smokes. So we're going to need to keep one of these. So these barter for this. I don't know what they, uh, the, the amounts are though. I think it's, this is like lead X and O scopes, right? Um, I do wonder what the amounts are because like these seem to have been much easier to find this way. So, I don't know. Wrench is good. Hose is good. I don't know if these have a secondary use. They don't. And we have the one we have. We, you know, we have the one we need already. So, that can, that can go away as well. Not sure how I feel about that one. We're going to need those very soon. We need to work on the peacekeeper task, I guess. Uh, that's the craft hoses. So this does this barter. And a labs card barter. The problem is that's that red screwdriver again. So maybe I am selling the extra elites. Oh no, we needed a pair of elites for something in the hideout. I think you need a couple of them. I totally forget what they are right now, but you definitely need them. I just forget what they are right now. I think I'm actually going to sell this. Say, oh, you know what? Actually, no, I'm going to put it in this garage, which I already have one of. So I'm actually selling that one. Got it. Okay, that's in the to be sold pile. Then I'm going to just sell this. Is for yeah, it's like really good, but not so good. I think I need that for the hideout. I do want to get an updated count on how close we are to um, a key tool. Because at the moment, we could probably just put all the keys we have in it and just take them all with us. Uh, all right, we're trying to level up skier. I'm not going to use that, if I'm being totally honest. And Prapper. We're actually, uh, I keep saying this. We're good on Prapper. I just need the, the tasks done. Yeah, there's a lot there. There's just a lot there. <laughs> there's just a lot there. All right, well. definitely use uh, any of our AKs. In fact, we should probably, once we get more weapon, like, weapons parts are actually, like, super good for us right now. Because once we get more, we can start crafting, like, some much different things here. I think those might be on the chopping block. Actually, theirs are definitely on the chopping block. Uh, because we have so much PBM to work with. Those might do something, but I'm not going to worry about it. Okay. Mm. All right. Reset task. Thank you. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, God the King, how are you? That's what I call clean and organized storage. I wish we could do more with it. I genuinely do. <laughs> I think it was this 
we're really close. Like, Jaeger level 2, and we could actually use that red screwdriver to get this going. That is not bad. That is not bad at all. Ethan craft there. We just need some bandages as well. Got to make sure we come out with those. Get this going backwards, though. That's close. That's back on the menu, which is really good for us. Um, these are anything with the red screwdrivers back on the menu. I again, I would love to craft this and use it, but we don't have the screwdriver. Uh, might be time to start making magnets. Maybe we can make these PP rounds. It takes five hours. Make this. That's not too bad, honestly. These are those new rounds, right? These are, these are the piranha rounds. Yeah, they're like, they shoot tacks. Sounds horrendous. We need to get another manual. Uh, so we, re we really do just need to keep looting violent cabinets like there's no tomorrow. Three oh eight key makes thermite for so I guess you grind down the key. I got to save that one. I got to remember that. It's really, really, really good to have. Wild to me that you can make that. That's weird to me. And we can turn we can turn drills into motors. The pro again the problem with that is it's just oh you can craft PBM. That's definitely what that guy did by the way. Because you can buy that no problem and it just takes super. This is super cheap. Yeah, hundred percent what that guy did. Not bad. I'm gonna save with that. In fact, I'm even gonna start crafting that. I think. Yeah. Oh no, but we need bolts right now. Sorry, never mind. Not gonna do that. We need bolts right now. Let's get that going. We want some mixture of those. And then what, what were you making? Ah, this. We know there's not gonna be room for it. But it will hold a nice chunk. I do think I want to make keep making hoses now that we have a lot of extra wires. Yeah. And we're going to need it for that plus lavatory too. That one requires the ceiling foam and the pressure gauges. Okay. We're really close on a lot of things. Dang. It's awesome. Yeah, this is where you use a bunch of those spark plugs and more relays. The mechanic three, which is not to level thirty, so we're not even going to think about worried about that. What do you need? The laboratory three. That's for the remember the sodium. <laughs> uh, classic. Um, we can actually install this immediately. That's the best part about this. Once we get therapist three and and skier two, we can just install this because we have both lead X's that we need. So good. I love that, that we had that early. That's so sick. All right, good stuff. Um, I do want to, what, 20, and this is 16, right? Yeah. So we're going to transfer all these things over to this black rock. I'm probably going to sell this Triton, if I'm being honest. We just don't have room. Um, there's probably a lot of things here I could sell as well, like, and go through and do. But not too much for it. But uh, YouTube, thank you so much for tuning in. That's going to do for this episode. That's a nice hour and a half episode there. Um, we got so much done today. We got so much done today. Um, a couple of wood survives. Our money's not looking terrible. Our stash is very full. Uh, we do need to keep working on tasks, for sure. There are, we have so many bullets, it's absurd. So we really got to start using some, you know, 545 things. I know that's not a 545, but... I and mean, we also have a kit, you know, we also have a kit that's really solid, so we might as well just keep using that as well. But, uh, yeah, good stuff. Thank you so much for watching these all the way through, subbing to the channel, maybe sharing this with somebody who might like some hardcore Tarkov or my style of hardcore Tarkov, or it's just new to Tarkov in general. This is very good about teaching. It's not a direct tutor, but it's definitely good about teaching, like, the 
places to get things you need for your hideout without having to rely on the flea market, making a ton of money, and like you know, because you can you can hit all these places with your scav. Simple as that. So definitely good stuff. Definitely good stuff. Um, did I thank the patrons? I haven't thanked the patrons. Patrons, big shout out to you guys. Thank you so much. Um, lowest tier patron. That's ten cents a video. Uh, when I'm uploading monthly, and that's such a big support. I do really appreciate that. Um, Primes, same thing. Gives gives me ten about ten cents a video. That's already bought and paid for. Make sure you're using that somewhere. Um, doesn't have to be here, but just make sure you that somewhere. Using that somewhere, it's a big deal. Really supports the content. That's a go a long way. So, shout out to all you guys. And seriously, thanks for just tuning in, everybody. We'll catch you in the next one.